Hey there, one of the many questions that I've been receiving is AI going to replace technical writers? Well, first off, the answer is no, and there's a little bit more depth to that answer. So the first thing you have to know is that technical writers should be focused on creating new documentation. Now, a big part of their job is updating existing documentation, but the other half of it, which is creating new documentation, can't be taken over by AI because then you need AI to communicate with engineers and to simplify those complex topics. And engineers have a hard time simplifying that information and also being able to translate that information then to a user audience. So the end users who are consuming that information, whether that be on a knowledge base, whether that be in a user manual and much more. So AI, what we see that it can best do it can best operate off existing documentation. So if it needs to update documentation according to new documentation, it can do that. So it can help technical writers there and replace some of the work that they do. But what happens for technical writers is technical writers often are a bit overloaded with updating existing documentation because that takes so much work. And oftentimes, one of the things they need to do is focus more on creating new documentation. So it actually frees up the technical writer's time to do what they do best and to do something that's more helpful to the growth of the company. Because if you're always in maintenance mode, well, it's gonna be hard to grow a company by ensuring that new features that come out, new products that come out have good documentation that comes along with it. So end users can know how to use those features, use those products and much more. And I went ahead and I posted this question also on LinkedIn to see what people would say. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the comments that we got from technical writers that I'm connected to and who are also in our community. So what I posted here is, will AI replace technical writers? And I said the answer is no, because AI is trained on existing documentation, not new documentation. And technical writers create new documentation. And the first one is from Sean McDonald. And he says, I hope you're correct. I'm inclined to think otherwise. Software has already replaced API documentation for the most part. Now, that's not necessarily true. It does make API documentation a lot easier, but I don't think it's replacing API documentation. With that said, API documentation is nowhere near complex as it used to be. I would say software has helped a lot with that, not necessarily AI. Now, here's another interesting reply. So it's from Rhonda Rucker. She says, oh, to be able to hand off the maintenance of all that legacy documentation, AI might actually free technical writers to expand and improve documentation. So it's something I just talked about where AI can be very helpful for understanding what needs to be updated out of all the documentation you already have. So maybe it's a product name, maybe it's context around a product or feature that needs to be updated or a style. And it, maybe it's only in certain documents that needs to be updated. AI can then bring that to the forefront and notify us that we need to update it. So here's another reply. This comes from Andrew Campion, and he's a technical writer at Entrust. He says, I hope so, but like Sean said, it's basically taking over API documentation in a convincing way. The optimistic side of me thinks that AI will at least heavily augment our jobs, but we will still have to be the ones on long meetings, calls, developers, or engineers to retrieve information and keep track of projects. And this is what I mentioned earlier is that as technical writers, we still need to communicate with engineers and need to communicate with product managers to ensure that we are getting the information in the best possible way. AI is going to have a tough time doing that. Cracking open a conversation with one of our counterparts who is a subject matter expert, and maybe the first subject matter expert on a feature or new product. Is AI going to be able to retrieve the information from them in an efficient way, in a way that may only happen if a relationship is actually built with them? Then we have to ask, is AI going to build relationships effectively with our engineers and product managers, so on? Um, I don't think we're quite there yet, and maybe it'll happen one day, but until that happens, technical writers are going to be that first point of contact or first few point of contacts to digest that information and simplify it from something complex to something that's very easily understood by the end users. Now, one of the things I love that Andrew mentioned is he says, I can tell myself not to worry until AI can gather technical details from a technical project, analyze audience perspectives and do the overall detective work that then turns to user-friendly writing, which you could argue is 80% of our job anyways. And that's really interesting that he says that because 
That is such a big part of the job, which is gathering those technical details, analyzing the audiences, and just overall research work. And research work it takes a lot of time and is not easy. You're researching based on new information, new documentation, right? And AI doesn't always have that new documentation to help you with research. So as a technical writer, you need to do that on your own. And Robin Eastlake goes ahead and agrees with what Andrew's saying. So going down here, we have a few more comments. So Shay Bapple, uh, he says, pretty much, the time spent gathering new information, including images or screenshots and observation of processes is a bulk of the work. Writing of the document is secondary, really. And my position requires analyzing design systems and paywalled web portals. One could argue that if you fed AI, all the source material could kick out a document fairly quickly, and that's true. But what will the quality of that document be? You still need a writer to fact check and copy edit to ensure it makes sense because let's be honest, AI doesn't understand the meaning of words and most of all, it's not empathetic to its readers. This is especially important in highly regulated industries where people's health and safety are on the line. Now, I disagree with a number of things here, which is that you can ask AI to write for a specific audience and get pretty close to what they would like to read, not in parallel, but you can help get closer to what your audience wants to read in the words they want to read it in. Now, AI can spit out material rather fast and the quality is not always going to be good, but again, AI doesn't need to be perfect to be able to help you significantly. So uh, the other part is what you mentioned, spent gathering new information, including images or screenshots and observation of processes is a bulk of the work. So AI can take over a good amount of that detail if they want to grab images or screenshots um, it can go ahead and do that and you can ask ai to do something like that will it be the right image will it be the right screenshot that's hard to argue as let's say you need to take a screenshot of a feature within a certain software product if you ask ai to go ahead and do that will it know exactly what feature to do it will it know the size of the screenshot needed and all those other details around it to be able to make that process effective. So that's really interesting to see if we get to that point. Um, I believe eventually we will, but I don't see it happening for at least a few years. And then we have a number of other comments. So this is the last I'm going to read. Abhishek says, any new documentation would just make the training data richer for AI, but it would be interesting to see how creative the AI can be. The power of storytelling, our own stories, is what makes us humans unique apart from our DNA. And I do think that AI is going to need more technical writers to make the training data richer because it needs more research. It needs more new documentation. And as that need increases, the technical writer's role will change to less about updating existing documentation, which AI can then help significantly with, to more about creating new documentation around features, new research, and much more. Yeah, so a lot here to learn about how AI is affecting the job and role of a technical writer. And it's exciting to be a technical writer and to use AI to help you with your workflow to whether that's copy editing your work. As one technical writer pointed out that AI can't do that, but I've seen it do it firsthand. So there's a lot of work that can be done there. That's pretty incredible to just help you edit your documents at scale, unify voice and tone at scale. And doesn't necessarily need to just auto adjusted, it can just give you the recommendations. It'll say something like on line five, when you use these words, you can change it to X and Y. And by doing something like that, it's not imposing its will. It's just acting as, let's say, a friendly team member would, who's doing the work when you want them to do the work when it comes to helping you and making sure that you can deliver your projects on time and also in a quality format. So really excited to see where the future of AI and technical writing goes. But for now, AI is not going to replace the technical writer's job. It is going to change it quite a bit, but it is not going to replace it. And with that said, make sure to go ahead and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So that way you can keep up to date with everything technical writing and all the cool videos and lessons that we come out with. And I'll go ahead and see you on some of our other lessons and YouTube content. And we'll rock and roll from here. Cheers.